Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to Infection Free Zone. This is a game I've been wanting to cover for a while. It finally got released on Early Access, so this game is not going to be incompletion, and this playthrough is definitely not going to be like a, hey, we're going to finish the game. But a uh, super cool post-apocalyptic city builder with zombies. It recently had a patch that kind of like fixed its balances and stuff, so it might make it... Uh, easier, I don't know, but like actually more realistic and just e more balanced to play, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so you kind of select your starting area here. Uh, it'll literally generate buildings based on what's actually there in the world. So like old, old, like, I don't know, Google Maps or something. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just hop into America. Some Some areas I'm familiar with. I did start a Nagoya one over here in Japan, because that's just a place I've always wanted to go, but eh, it, uh, it it didn't turn out as well as I thought it did. But I'm going to go to my old hometown. I don't live here anymore, but I'll just go for something familiar. So I grew up here in Bay City, Texas. Uh, not in the city, just close to it, and this is kind of what I claim as home. But I thought I'd start here. We are going to start... By my town hall, I think. Just kind of where I grew up. Yeah, I think this would be a good start. Uh, it's relatively closer to the equator, so, you know, hopefully we'll get some uh, decent winter and summer months as opposed to where I'm at now, where it just gets so damn cold all the time. Um, and yeah. I'll keep tutorials and stuff on. I've already kind of played to get some of the tutorial out of the way for me, but hopefully I'll be able to actually survive a decent decent while and uh, the infection here is kind of like the I am legend infection so don't like sunlight extremely aggressive um, and you'll, you'll see a lot more as it unveils itself through the uh, through the story the world as we know it is gone what we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere it made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Cool, 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 cool. Also, whenever you start like in a foreign country, it's kind of funny that if you're like an English speaker and your game is set up for English, that uh, <laughs> would basically be like English speaking people setting up shop in like a foreign country, which is interesting in of itself. But we're going to start with a small area, because if you start with like really large buildings, it can get a little a little rough sometimes. Uh, but this is usually where I started last time and it seemed to have 
been quite difficult to occupy these buildings because those buildings take a lot of resources. Granted, there's been a patch that says it's, it's fixed that, but I just want to make sure that I will survive. I think we'll start here. There's some smaller houses around here and this kind of like relatively somewhat larger houses as well. And we're going to be close to the corner of the map, so maybe we can, I don't know, just see some infection if they're coming in or not. Um, yeah, I think I'll start here. Ready for action. Operator, this is the first squad leader. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. Ready for action. Go we'll have there. to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. Roger. Okay. Okay. Find something to eat as fast as possible. Receiving. On my way. And you'll kind of get the story through, like, transmissions. So the guy who did... I forget what it's called, the game's called, but, like... Uh, it's, like, police operator or something like that. No more to find. Um, he is the one voicing this, and he has a silky smooth voice, if I do say so myself. So it's always nice to have him kind of chat and hear him talk. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Okay. No more to I'll point you where to go. Search done. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let Building us go clear. and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters. So we won't no spend a single find. more night underground. There's yes. Left. That sounds like a good idea. No more to find. Okay, let's just put everyone on scavenging. So we're gonna, we're gonna typically harvest this, uh, this immediate let's three by three block area. I don't remember where I am in terms of my town. This is the courthouse. It's kind of like my frame of reference. We'll have like a, a water burger over here. Oh wait, no, that's the steakhouse. We have water burger like right here, and then up here is just kind of the residential area. So there should be a gas no station around us nearby too. Yeah. My old hometown. It's been a while since I've been back, actually. I'm going to be, uh, by the time this video is out, I'll probably be well done with it. But I'm going to be Search heading back done. to my hometown here pretty soon and uh, getting to see my family and friends again. But here I am reminiscing already. On my way. Oh, and as you can see, the bigger the building is, the longer it takes for our teams here to Operator. scavenge or scavenge clear. Uh, what's going on. So the bigger, clear. the more time consuming it's going to be. And as you can Search see, uh, sunrise hour, which is when the infected will go away and our people like come out and start working is 5.56 a.m. and sunset where the infected will come out is 6.26 p.m. And we're on the 1st of April, 2029. So quite the future. We're on the move. And we get mood buffs and like debuffs based on like what's going on. As you can see right now, we do have, like, shelter, per se, but people aren't living comfortably in it. I think they can only live comfortably if it's, like, 10 in here. But we'll eventually fix up the shelter here in a bit. Operator. On my way. And these question marks signify, like, hey, come search me. And we'll we'll do this through the night, because the first night's relatively calm. The sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Yeah, it will be fine. Carry on. We need those resources. Sir, it is too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work after nightfall. Everyone will return home. Right. Okay, let's be safe. Yeah, you'll see our random citizens that aren't necessarily in the squads are just going to walk around and do some scavenging and whatnot. They've already got a decent chunk of resources. Chief, clear! There are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. Sounds good. Let's investigate. Building clear. That isn't a very big living no quarters. More to find. This is a massive living quarters. I'll turn that into a shelter. 
Sir, we just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence yet. Get ready to fight. As you can see, we have some roaming infected. There's about six of them, and they're mostly human. Which begs the question, what Sir, else can they be? <laughs> Waiting orders. There's nothing left. I did find whatever I was playing before the the balance. Hopefully they fixed it. That like it seems the game just gets harder and harder the longer you survive, which is cool. But I wish they did it a different way, like to make the late game more challenging. Like add different things, like instead of having to worry about maybe the infected because we're a little more advanced, we don't have to worry about food. We have some weapons to defend ourselves. Maybe we worry about more about raiders with like tanks or something. Not necessarily, like, the same problem constantly trying to murder us. Because I feel like eventually we'd at least overcome it in our regional area. Well, these guys might attack. In terms of, like, surviving. You know, eventually at what point do you stop surviving and start thriving? It's kind of what I was hoping this game would uh, kind of accomplish. But it's still early access, so things can change. But you'll see that the infected kind of chase down our people there into the building. So our squads do take damage if they're like sitting in the building for a while with the board. Clear. Clear. Oh great, they're coming to attack our building. Okay, you hop in there. You know, there's like lots of hordes here all of a sudden. What? No. What are you doing? You see, they start taking damage like that. Okay, we're good. Uh, and our buildings, like our HQ here, uh, they don't get to hop just into the building and start attacking our people. They actually have to break the building down before they can do that. Ready for action. And as you can Going suspect, down. if they break down the HQ building, we lose. Another horde? Dang, I know there is the not boat. that many people in this town. Okay, sunrise. Let's go ahead and put some people on building duty. Stop. Boss, we're running out of space for resources. We have to build a warehouse. Okay, we'll build one. Night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. We should build Operator. some defenses before the next nightfall. Agree. Let's build a wooden tower. We're on the move. Let's go ahead and investigate this area now. Um, I'm not sure We're if this is the tutorial missions or not, but I find like like the first opening like bits of radio transmission are a little obnoxious because they keep popping up, and they're just absolutely everywhere. Once we clear out this little 3x3 three three area, we'll start disassembling buildings, which are pretty much necessary, I would say, for uh, the bigger ones, anyway, are necessary for resource extraction. Because you see, like, our, our civilians, they have to travel, like, a decent ways to go grab stuff. And it's just not feasible to have them walk like five blocks away because it even takes them a while to chop down a tree. They might not be able to walk back fast fly. enough or harvest that resource. So eventually you'll have to start harvesting like larger buildings. And I'm kind of hoping I didn't like screw us over by not placing us next to large buildings. It kind of becomes a late no game resource fly. extraction. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. Could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Yeah, we'll be fine. Bring them in. Left. Clear. Okay, we're gonna stop Operator. scouting for resources here. On my way. Because we cannot store anything, because our headquarters is kind of tiny, tiny. I kind of want to make this new headquarters, which you can still change your headquarters. All you gotta do is like build a new one. But we're 
probably going to be chilling a little bit until we can build our warehouses or uh, shelter. No, oh, the warehouses are at capacity. Let's go ahead and just do this then. Because we're, we're not going to be able to harvest resources at this rate. as many builders as we can. Super choppy out of nowhere. Hmm. Hostiles inbound. Dang, why is it so choppy? Maybe it's because I'm recording here. Let me uh, just cut down on some of the settings real quick. Okay, here we are again. It's a little less choppy. Hostiles inbound. Are those hostiles that you were talking about? Get up, everyone. No clue. Alright, well, we're still gonna kind of linger here while we wait for the shelter and warehouse to be built. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info that we could use. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encountered, and other groups of survivors, too. But they've lost people recently. It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find some jobs and shelter for them. Okay. Let them rest. Okay. Let them rest. To all survivors, the infection will decline. See if there's a reboot. Oh? This is the infection free zone. Please respond. To all survivors, the infection is in decline. Seek a host and rebuild. Is somebody there? This the infection is in decline. Seek this and rebuild. Can you hear me? This the infection is in decline. Seek this and rebuild. Hello. Please respond. Over. This the infection is in decline. Seek this and rebuild. Seems like it's just a repetitive channel. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Let's go there. And it's cool, because this actually is the Bay City Public Library right there. Still going to be probably, I want to say one or two more nights. Pro definitely two or three more Wrap nights before full. these are Time finished. I'm actually going to pull people off this and have them harvest strictly that. There should be no infected on the street tonight. That's good. We can use a quiet night. I agree. You could also send some people out to work, can you not? But these are nights where the infected wouldn't really come out at night. So we could we could literally be scavenging freely right now, but we don't have the storage capacity. So we're gonna focus on wood scavenging tomorrow. Hopefully that'll finish these off. The more wood we get. This one's gonna these both are just going to take quite a bit because they're so huge. But I think the shelter gives us... I think it said like a hundred something? I don't know. Looks like an apartment building. I don't know what this is exactly. It's in my courthouse for a reference. Oh, I think I actually know what this is. The work ain't gonna it's kind of like a, a chiropractor clinic or like a, a weird We're women's fitness center, I believe. 
Sir, the people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defenses and be ready to attack from within, too. We'll be ready. Yeah, we will. We need so much wood. Come on. We've been stagnating for way too long. I'm gonna add even more people to trees. I would say maybe one more night would be enough. Work's done. Head back to your shelter. So we're pretty close. Yep, three digit degrees. That happens quite frequently. It's very humid we're in this area too. Okay, here comes some infected. Our building's under attack. What the They're heck is this? Look at all these infected. There are so many infected. I don't know if they fixed the game yet. Hostiles inbound. They're trying to get inside. Oh, these guys are actually almost out of ammo. Should probably help fix that. Alright, go reload. Maybe it's because I'm at the edge of the map. I don't know. That was ridiculous. This game is really choppy all of a sudden. Let me go ahead and just lower the settings even more. There are some infected around here. Dang. Our building's under attack. I'm gonna just drop it even more. This is kinda crazy. It used to be a lot smoother. Rising front, cool. no time to wait. All right, hopefully this will be. We're running it. out of resources. We'll get our stuff back. We'll be able to scavenge for more resources. We'll have shelters. Chief, if we deconstructed some buildings, we could acquire some wood, metal, and bricks for other constructions. We would have more space for other constructions as well. Or just a clear line of fire. Yep. Okay. I Let's agree. take it down. They're gonna start with those bigger buildings to the right Adaptation over here, I think. Alright, cool. We got a warehouse finally. Chief, if we want Ready to build crash. anything else, we'll need more resources. Send workers to chop down some trees. Maybe we could build some palisades with that. Ready too. for action. Roger. Okay. okay. Let's gather some more. We're wood. on the move. Reporting. Roger. Okay. Let's drop this stuff off. Let's do it. We'll go here, drop this stuff off, and we'll finally start searching Let's buildings again. Roger. Reporting. Let's Going finish there. Finish up this neighborhood. Finish up that. Finish up that. Cool. Roger. Search done. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. There were some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating the land again. Okay, bring that in. No more to find. Sounds good. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. This will make There's our people much left. happier, too. Okay. Let's okay, let's build a cookhouse. See how bad the infection is tonight. Wow, there is massive waves. Search done. That is absolutely Search crazy. Done. This game is just wild. Or maybe I'm just not playing it right. I don't know, man. There are some infected around here. Alright, you're gonna have to stay home for defense. There are some infected I think around everyone's here. gonna have to stay home for defense. There's some massive hordes coming this way. Horde spotted! The door won't hold much 
longer. We're gonna have to fix up the HQ, I think, tomorrow. People are still in a good mood, thankfully. I think the mood meter might have been messed up too, because workers' efficiency is minus 20. They should be dissatisfied right now, and I think the next one after that's angry. Yeah, it is. They're just crawling up the side of the building trying to get in. Just punching a wall. sleep. Clear. Chief, we found some medical supplies. They'll definitely come in handy. Now Let's we'll be it. able to give first aid to the wounded. But if we want to heal people more efficiently, we'll need to build a med bay. A med bay sounds like a good idea. We'll think of that. Oh, give me one second. Alrighty, I'm back. There's nothing left. Sorry, I just had to eat real quick. Clear. Okay, it's still early in the morning. Building clear. Ready for action. And we'll clear out this area next. Clear. What I'm thinking is we'll make our little fort right here. We'll section off each of these areas with walls because I have played. We, they are billions before. So, Building clear. sectioning off the camp will be useful for our survival. Go ahead and build a wooden tower. Close to our base. And uh, we'll place it right here. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Try it. Just so we knock one of these things off. We'll also Clear. grab some fields. Let's do it. Mm, we'll do it here. Grab that car. Let's do it. Which going I think I'm going to do right now. And then we'll finish off going to the library. We'll pick up those technical books and stuff. We'll get some farming going. Have somewhat of a sustainable food source. And we're going to go in here and kill these infected. There are quite a few of them. Actually, there's quite a few of them. I'll, I'll let them be for now. I don't think one of these squads with that assault rifle could probably deal with that. <clears throat> yeah, once we start getting some research going, I see, from what I see over time, like I said, it seems like how they kind of challenge you in the late game is just adding a ridiculous amount of hordes over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again. driving so much. This will help speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if they get too close. We're on the move. Well, we're gonna see. Oh. Done. Chief, we just found a dead animal. But the thing is, it was literally shredded to pieces. It couldn't just be some ordinary infected. There are teeth marks on its skin. They look like dog teeth. Oh, lovely. Stay alert. But like I said, I wish there was more... Let's levels of progression and challenge as opposed to just one straight up hey you're gonna face tons and tons of waves of hordes until they wear you down and you're dead like there's no escaping it it's kind of what it feels like i could just be a crappy not good player which is always always could be true uh but i don't know it just doesn't seem like there's anything else to challenge me that keeps the game interesting besides massive hordes. But as you can see, that car has some storage space. Clear. So we can use that for long distance scavenging. Because by the time we get past these blocks, just searching buildings is going to take a pretty good chunk no of the day. 
and that doesn't even include bringing stuff back. So we'll let our guys stay out there and uh, kind of just deal with the books and stuff so we can get some research happening. We built our wooden tower so we knocked another objective off. Slowly building our, our wooden area. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this. On my way. But I won't put anyone on it. As you can see, it gives us a huge amount of resources for just being so close. I'm still going to follow through with knocking out all the trees and like these light posts here because I build my walls pretty close on the sidewalk and the light posts are in the way. Okay, we're getting some more technical books. I'll just kind of keep close tabs on home base here. Okay, once you're done here, you're going to go back home. We got a wooden tower kind of defending this area. I don't know if the infected go straight for towers like that, for instance, or if they just go for any building that's close to them. But from my experience, it seems like they're aggro towards like gates where you have guards on and wooden towers. So hopefully that's the case. As you can see, this thing, not very strong. These other buildings have like easily like 9,000. Well, just the HQ maybe. But typically not very strong wooden towers. Oh, and it's a full moon tonight. Heck Winning yeah. Orders. So we're going to keep searching. We're going to clear out this block. Going there. And then we're going to clear out any other blocks we haven't really touched yet. For the area that we're going to be turning into our base. All right, cool. That should clear out the area. And I saw some other cars here, which I'm... Definitely going to try to get my hands on, because no the more people I have in vehicles, the faster we can scavenge, the better off we'll be in terms of like getting food procured, because we can store a whole lot more. And I've never seen these before, these combis, I guess, SUVs, I don't know, something. Never seen those before. I've only ever seen trucks and cars and big old heck you fuel trucks like this bad boy right here, this tanker, which doesn't carry a whole lot. Go ahead and just accelerate. So we're not sitting here looking at Hey, it's 69 degrees. Nice. Building clear. Usually in my hometown where I went to school and all that stuff, the school's like we're off over here. Yeah, as you can see, the school's here and it's like a teaching facility, so it'll give you clear. tons more books and stuff. But um It would be like super duper cold in the day over here. And we're on the move. It'd be like 40 degrees, Let's which is cold to us down here in this far south but by time afternoon came around it'd be three digit degrees so the, the kind of thing you had to consider was do I want to freeze in the morning and be and be relatively like shorts and like shirt and hopefully not super sweaty in the afternoon because you will get sweaty either way or do I want to dress really really warm in the morning and be super super sweaty in the afternoon <laughs> We need a workspace where we Winning can experiment orders. and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. We could store all the books there, too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. So, research center. Is there any decently sized place that will give me more than just one researcher? Yeah, that will. All these are small buildings. This is a... This will be a good research center. I don't know if that gets rid of the resources, because I definitely didn't. Actually, hold up. We'll, we won't do that yet. On my way. Let's do it. Don't be slackers. Wake up and do your job. Yeah, do your jobs. Come on. There's nothing left. Operator. Going there. We're on the move. Operator going there. Right, cool. Clear. What other significantly cool places We're are on around the here? I think I'm going to focus gathering books and stuff with the vehicle for right now. Mostly because I want as much research as possible. Ready for We're on the I want to be able to manufacture certain wonderful things like that thing. On my way. Okay. It's funny that they have these areas as buildings as well because these are actually this is the courtyard this is where i went to school by the way this is the courtyard where we can go out and eat lunch the cafeteria is like right there and these are just these are just like 
I guess like oddings or pergolas. I don't know if it's a pergola, but just kind of like an area to like make sure you don't get rained on while you're walking from building to building. Operator. Okay, you on do my way. this one next. And we just searched that area, so now we can turn it to a research center, which I'd prefer to do. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources, to construct or to work at some of the buildings. Done and done. We're gonna see. Worry. Receiving. Actually, while we're at it, we're gonna go grab one of these vehicles. Let's do it. We're gonna start bringing some of these vehicles back. And we are farming away over here. We just need to build a cookhouse. Yeah, I'll build a cookhouse right there. <clears throat> just so we can cook this uh, grain that we're getting. Turn it into bread. But once this area is cleared out, we'll start deconstructing actual buildings. I don't think I'll deconstruct you right now. Let's go ahead and just have y'all on metal, because that's going to be the most annoying part. Where are we going? Head back to your shelter. Okay, we got the vehicle. Go ahead and grab these people. Let's go Roger. communicate with them. Going there. We're on the move. We're on the move. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Send them in. Let's do it. Well, still searching this one facility. Dang. Receiving. Not a lot of books. And we'll have we'll have their sight, but they'll slowly down, walk over down. here. They won't move during the night. Heads up, there are some infected dogs incoming fast. Shoot them down. There's nothing left. Okay, we are just attracting tons of infected towards us. Alright, things are getting getting dire. Gonna send this bad boy back home. Roger, receive it. Let's do it. Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, get ready to defend the zone. Please get out of the vehicle. Yep, we have a ton of infected coming our way. Our building is under attack. Okay, this wooden tower seems to have kept it alive. Infected incoming. Wow, it's getting real choppy. It's probably because there's so many infected on the map. Okay, that should be able to take care of that. These guys are equipped with guns as well. They're just pistols, so we should be fine. And we have a decent amount of ammo. In this town, I'm sure of it. We're gonna stay here since there's supposed to be a swarm tonight, it seems. Oh my gosh. Probably going to die. Reporting. 
Okay, going good stuff. Let's, uh, going there. Well, the night is still young. Let's uh, let's Check wait until at least 5 a.m. Oh my gosh. On my way. They're breaking into our building. Fine. Just shoot these guys, please. Let's do it. Yeah, once five rolls around, I'll probably send everyone out. This tower's still standing tall, though. Let's get our SUVs and like all of our Ready other places. Let's, Let's get out of here. Operator. Start scavenging. Reporting. We got enough food. We can we can screw around. Going there. Let's go. I have no. There I think this is the new stadium here. that we just built at home. That's what that rebuilding is out there. Orders. There are some infected around here. Good stuff. All right. You're gonna <laughs> just finish up. There. Boss, it's been a rough night. Yeah. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come, our chances of survival will be really low. We'll get over this. We have to. We're all that's left of humanity. Horde spotted. Horde spotted. Oh, they're just chilling in the building. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Send them in. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, everyone's getting back to work. Sir, the winter is coming. The days will be shorter. The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might be the hardest days of the year. Let's prepare for winter. Still 73 degrees outside. It's nice and breezy. Keep scavenging. Not right here. Let's put everyone on this. We'll save that building for when we really, really need it. I'd much rather these street lights be taken care of, though. Working. Start winding five. down for some rest. Dang, they are still searching these buildings. Receiving. Get back in your vehicle. Roger. I'm gonna need these guys Receiving. back home. Roger. On my way. I'm sure there's gonna be inevitable amounts Operator. of hordes. Just massive waves of Roger. zombies. Here they come. Are pillaging a building. Our building is under attack. Really gonna need to fix up the HQ building here in a bit. It's getting a little at least lost a quarter of its health, which I don't like. <clears throat> Let's get all these books back from that, from the Bay City High School, that'd be nice. Alright, get back to your vehicles. Order, going there. Get back Operator, going there. there. Well, Receiving. if you keep them next to the, the building, they'll automatically Operator. fuel up with any fuel that we might have uh, picked up on our journeys. Okay, the SUV is good to go. Get back out there. Going there. Operator. Let's do it. 
And, uh, one yeah, we'll stop by this gas station. Sir, we've spotted some people. They're probably armed. They could have seen us too, but I can't tell if they're friendly. What should we do? Approach them friendly. Yeah. Are coming. Get ready. Be friendly unless told otherwise. People spotted. Armed and dangerous. Okay, so there are actual raiders, people who are not very friendly. We're still trying to harvest all these street lights and stuff. We're getting a lot of metal. And we're getting really low on food. Okay. We have a lot of wheat, but we can't consume it. We're going to get back to actual scavenging since we're really, really low on food. And we, yeah, I think we'll just stick around our general area for now. Going there. We'll clear out these neighborhoods. Just get some food so we have a nice buffer. The lab's almost set up. And the cookhouse is getting there. Raiders are coming. Get ready. We'll be fine. As long as they're nowhere near me, we'll be all right. Eye on those no guys. One one that was a lot of food. Alright, let's get back home then. Let's finish harvesting this place. No more to find. Back in the car. Get to the car. Now. Okay, we got some food. Not all ton, but some. Try to survive the night. Still don't got enough for a day. We're gonna have to stop searching for those books for right now. And I might need to put another watchtower up. Another one incoming. Yep. Oh gosh. Stop it. Stop attacking. There's a lot of them. Operator. Leave the research center alone. Let's do it. We're on the road. There are some infected around here. Everything's really spread out too. In terms of our base, these larger facilities are nice for like research labs or production facilities. We survived, we survived. When is sunrise? There are some infected around here. 639. Should be very soon actually. Let's do it. Kill them all. Get back in my SUV and start harvesting Enough stuff. Stay on guard. Ready for action. Let's do it. Let's do it. Going there. Operator. Let's do it. On my way. Going there. Waiting orders. We're on the move. We'll get 
Okay, so these are the opposite of full moon days. The infected can just walk around and attack us all day. Please stop attacking the lab. Oh, they're about to break it. Yeah, it's broken. That's annoying. Gotta fix it up again. Run away. So we'll lose this day with no progress, pretty much. We still need to get some food so people don't starve to death. Keep everyone close by, but we'll regret we'll put some buildings. Operator. Incoming. I'll keep one just actually around here. Gonna need it. We're on the move. Look at all these infected. Clear. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Reporting. Okay, majority of them are melee people. We have one person with a gun. We need to eat something. Yeah. The infected are pillaging a building. Trying to fix that. These guys are getting something. They're breaking food. into our building. Center up for me. Nice. Alright, while we're at it, let's get that basic. I'm gonna get arms production. There's a shotgun. Takes place in a very effective at close range combats. Highly effective but ammo intensive weapon. And then we have. This, long range farms, very high target penetration ability. No idea what that means. Never used anything besides the rifle and the pistol. Clear. We currently do have quite a few bits of wood, so I'm going to go ahead and just Get some guys kind of repairing a lot of the, the areas around here. Yeah, that one shouldn't take too long since it's right by a warehouse. The builders are going to fix it up real quick. I'm going to fix up that shelter, I think. On my way. We finished construction. Okay, let's fix up this bad boy then. All the builders I can muster since no one's working. Operator. Go drop off this Roger. food. Yeah, we should have enough to fix that shelter. Sunset's at 5.53. Well, they're going to be upset if they don't get their shelter for tonight. I think we'll be okay, though. Yep. Well, we'll be alright. Wait, did we finish that? I need 10 research books for assault rifle production. I kind of want to get a boomstick. I'll give it to the, the squads that go out in the field since the infected gets so close. Actually, let's uh, put some people on guard duty. There you go, they're in the tower. And we didn't get a full moon tonight, so eh, it is what it is. Wait, we got food preparation going, right? We do. So they're making some meals with the, the wheat that we get, or the, the grain, I guess. But they don't produce a whole lot. It's minus 20% 20, 20 production for them being upsetty. And there's definitely not 12 hours in a day for us, so they're not producing a lot of food at all. So we gotta keep harvesting and scavenging. 
There's another pistol up there. Okay, there's no way we'll have a second storm of cloudy day. There's no way. Get another SUV. We'll send this squad to go grab those guns from somebody who probably died. On my way. Ready for action. Let's and hopefully we can get around to do some stuff today. On my way. We'll clear out this block. Then I think we'll clear out this block as well. And then we'll finish what we started over here. We'll clear out this giant rectangle block. Okay. Chief, we just found an assault rifle. This will come in handy against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Hell on yeah, way. brother. Use it with caution. Well, that's awesome. It's kind of annoying that that red doesn't go away after... Because I, I think I was selecting a building and it went no red because it couldn't... It was too small to fit that building I was trying to get built up. <coughs> Ready for action. We're on the move. Builders are slowly building that. We're just going to repair everything. Adaptation done. This will probably hurt, but I'm going to repair that. Let's max those guys out. We just need three wood. We definitely got that. These guys get this car yet? Nope, they're almost there. Those SCVs are actually really nice. They have a lot more storage space in the car. These guys only have 10. These guys have 15. And we have an assault rifle. Sheesh. Okay. It's taking a little while to build this one because they're bringing it all the way from the HQ. It's the only other storage place we have. But should be a quick fix. Then I'm going to do the cookhouse, and then I'm going to do the HQ, I think. Vehicle taken over. Good, good, good. Building right, cookhouse next, please. It's not like they're actually cooking any faster. Let's also grab these random Going group of there. people. Roger. We're going to have to give these guys pistols. Search done. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Let's do it. Send them in. Receiving. Roger. Roger. You over there. Our people are starving. Where are they now? That they are, huh? We'll do this for tonight, and then we'll swing back home. Clear. I know that SCV's got a decent amount of food going for it, too. So hopefully, hopefully nobody dies. We'll see. Operator. Uh, you finish this block if you We're can. At the, the end of the day. Okay, we got some food. Clear. We got food for a day. Let's go ahead and put some people back on food Search preparation. Done. Things are looking up. We've repaired our buildings. We still got a decent chunk of storage for a lot of our basic building materials. Receiving. There's nothing left. And we're getting some food Clear. out there, so we're doing we're doing pretty well. Let's keep scavenging. I would love search it. Done. We're gonna get a ton of brick from here. If we could build some Going brick there. walls. Clear. I think I'm going to start building some brick walls here. Clear. Yeah, this is why I build it so close to the road. Clear. Clear. Okay. That'll be the middle. Building clear. And they just finished with that, so I will... Ah, dang. Curse these buildings. Trying to... Get a decent area or square here. Time to sleep, everyone. 
No more to find. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, I guess I'll build it there because that's the best I can do, and then bam. Metal gate. We'll kind of put it somewhere in the middle. Then we'll have four ways of exit here. That'll be kind of like our first initial compound. We'll expand the walls in these directions and get more uh, stuff under our control. Hostile we'll start here. Incoming. Okay, you come back and drop off your food, you silly goose. We're on the move. You're still Ready for action. packing stuff. And you are Ready also still scavenging. It's fine for now. Okay, perfect. And you're not the one with Roger. like three melee fighters. Let's go ahead and park the Going car over there. here. Let's do it. Can you just no is there a way to say exit? Go to HQ, repair, disband. Oh, leave the, the car. There you go. You Roger. go chill over here by the, uh, We're on the laboratory. Reporting. Going there. Let's see if we can get through the night without no much casualty. Clear. Okay, we'll have just 10 builders. They'll work slowly. Clear. We got our scavengers here who will also work slowly on everything in the area that we just got. Search done. Going there. Why on are my you way. leaving your vehicle so far behind? Clear. No more to find. Okay, we just got tons of stuff there. We're doing really good for food. Finish this area out. Let's help him do that. On my way. No more to find. No more to find. Are they still There's researching? Left. Building clear. It's nighttime. I thought they were gonna take break. Swarm incoming. Get ready. All right, everyone, get back to your vehicles. Come back. Drop your Going stuff off. There. No, not you. You need to You come back. Going there. Operator, let's do it. We're on the move. Come on, man. pick it up. On hmm. my way. We don't have any more pistols, sadly. Let's do it. Reporting. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Drop Operator. Your off over here. Infected incoming. Where are the infected? I can't see. Okay, it's your vehicle. Going there. Receiving. Enough sleep, people. Let's do it. Got work to do. Oh. Okay. Reporting. The sun has risen. Reporting. We're on Waiting the move. orders. Well, let's keep doing what we we're doing. Let's clear out this block as well. Operator. Finish Let's what do we it. are doing over here. I wish there was like an auto explore button. Or like set tactics for your squad. Like, hey, go go salvage stuff, but if you encounter enemies, like retreat. But it doesn't seem to be the case in this game. For right now, anyway. It's still early access, so that might change. Reporting. I'm more of a, a more macro person There's as opposed to micro, left. as everyone knows, I'm sure. There's nothing. Operator, we found something suspicious. Building clear. There's a large piece of dry meat here with a piece of rope clear. around it. It's attached to a counterweight. This seems to be a trap to catch something. Maybe humans, maybe animals, or maybe even the infected. Somebody must have set it up not too long ago. Super cool. Make sure it's desired. Try to find out more about it. Well, I think this will be where I end it for this session uh, because we're already at a an hour mark. 
I run five at this point. So I'll go ahead and cut it here. But thank you all for joining. I hope you're enjoying this super cool game. And hopefully you support it by going out and buying it. Because 10 out of 10 do love this game. But uh, I will go ahead and see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.